Hi, I'm Brandon Miller from the American Institute of Physics, and I'm here with Ed Kastner, Associate Editor of the Journal of Chemical Physics. We're at the ACS 2008 Spring Meeting in New Orleans. And uh, Ed, uh, can you tell us a little bit about JCP? Tell us what it is. Well, JCP is the Journal of Chemical Physics, and it's a venerable journal that many of you know. But for those of you who don't, it's an archival research journal in which we publish the top quality research in uh, the field. It's the most uh, prestigious journal in the uh, chemical physics area, and uh, we'll go from there. Okay, sounds good. Before your association with JCP, what kind of uh, connections and contributions uh, with the journal did you have? Well, I was connected with the journal because I was a graduate student at the University of Chicago. Um, for those who are interested in the history of the journal, it was founded by a number of scientists, and Harold Urey was the original editor. And as Harold moved from Columbia to the University of Chicago, he took the journal uh, office with him. And uh, a number of distinguished editors have uh, followed uh, Harold. Clyde Hutchison was one of my professors at Chicago, who was also uh, an editor-in-chief in the 50s and 60s. When I arrived at graduate school, Willard Stout was an editor, and he passed the baton to John White, who will be stepping down this year after, I believe, 26 years of distinguished service with the journal. And uh, as John took over, the volume expanded, and the journal went from monthly to bi-weekly publications. And at that point, Don Levy came on as an associate editor, and Don has just retired as editor-in-chief because he became vice president for research at Chicago. And we have had uh, Carl Freed and now Lori Butler from the Chicago faculty on there. But now we have seven associate editors, and so I'm one. So each of us is a faculty member at uh, some university, and I'm at Rutgers. Great. And would you mind talking about your research oh, and yes. Very good. how that relates to chemical physics? Well, when I was a graduate student in Chicago, my office was next door to the journal office. And so the SUMA, the best possible uh, outcome for making a good research uh, publication, was to submit it and get it published in the Journal of Chemical Physics. And so I worked with Graham Fleming, who just got the award upstairs uh, uh, for the Ahmed Sawil uh, uh, Physical Chemistry Award. And Graham and his students have done a variety of different things. And I was working on the solvation problem together with Mark Marincelli. And so we've continued that and we've looked at the chemical physics of different kinds of uh, complex systems, hydrogen bonding systems and polymers. We've also used femtosecond Kerr effect spectroscopy, a femtosecond Ramad method. And in general, our focus has been to look at intermolecular interactions and dynamics in complex condensed phase systems. Great. And, and that, that research, that all falls under chemical physics. A lot of people ask, what is, what is chemical physics? You know? Well, that's a great question, Brandon. Chemical physics is not an easy thing to dis define. Frequently, I just revert to that uh, analogy to the uh, S Supreme Court Justice, uh, our former uh, Chief Justice uh, Earl Warren, said, well, you know it when you see it. But a more precise definition would be that I think all the editors would agree that chemical physics has to include a major component of physics and chemistry, and that within the journal we're looking to balance the uh, experimental work and the theoretical work. All right. That sounds good. And is there any particular research uh, right now that's interesting uh, in the field of chemical physics that you'd like to, to bring up? There's all kinds of things. Uh, here at the booth, maybe we can uh, highlight the uh, NMR special issue. This is uh, our very first uh, color uh, on the cover of the Journal of Chemical Physics. And this is a special issue focused on the latest um, methods, developments, and theory for nuclear magnetic resonance. And I believe it's going to be a landmark in the field. And so I encourage you all to take a look at that. But so uh, we have many um, very hot areas. Um, in addition to the theoretical work in protein folding and multi-scale modeling, combining everything from high-level electronic structure to uh, mesoscale simulations. We have great experimental work coming in in single molecule spectroscopy. And one of my favorites has been the multi-dimensional optical spectroscopy, the analogs of the NMR work that uh, um, we like to uh, focus on. Great. Thanks, Ed. Um, it's a pleasure talking to you today. And is there anything else you'd like to add about JCP or...? Okay. Well, we can segue to a few other things and edit necessary as uh, 
as we choose to do later. Um, some of the other work that I do is highly interdisciplinary, and I think that that's something that's shared by the authors and editors and readers of the journal. And so in addition to uh, working for the journal, we also publish in a number of other uh, journals. Our friends at ACS uh, publish Macromolecules and Langmuir in the Journal of Physical Chemistry, Chemical Reviews and Accounts of Chemical Research. And uh, we also work very closely with the American Physical Society, the APS journals, PhysRev Letters and Physical Review. And uh, there's all kinds of great things there. Yeah, of course. So we had talked previously about how uh, publishing is really becoming a web and internet based technology. When an author has written a uh, top quality research article, they make usually two or three portable document format PDF files and submit them to the website. And then the editor-in-chief, uh, currently Branko Ladani, um, decides which associate editor is going to handle it, or maybe she'll handle it herself. And then we go through the review process. And we'll update you on the review process in greater detail uh, in a subsequent edition of, the, uh, of this version of the website. Good. Sounds great. Yeah. But I'd like to say that I've, I found my first uh, 15 months as an associate editor particularly rewarding. It's always a difficult thing to reject a manuscript when you know just how hard somebody has worked. But at the same time, we are trying to preserve the high quality uh, standards of the journal. And the feedback that we get from authors and referees is, uh, is invaluable and makes it very rewarding. Do you ever find a chance to guide those authors that uh, you're in contact with? Is that part of your well, I, I encourage uh, all authors to uh, contact us uh, by email or in person, but it's particularly rewarding to talk to uh, prospective authors who have great science that we'd like to see in the journal and try and convince them to submit it to us. Great. Yeah. Excellent. So I think we've covered everything that we want to talk about. Is that right? Great. All right. Great. Thank you for joining us today, Ed.